In World War II, British soldiers, including the Scots Highland Division, landed in North Africa to Alexandria, fought their way across, all across North Africa through a minor annoyance, uh, Rommel's army, and then up the toe of Italy and into uh, to begin their, their session there. It was heard that there was a, the Lady Astor, politician, first female parliamentarian, had visited Italy and seen that the, the soldiers there were just laying about. They weren't doing anything, just drunken bums and dodging D-Day. They should have been there in Britain. Now, this was an absolute lie. It wasn't true. Uh, but they had the fighting in Italy was fierce fighting, almost as bad as Normandy itself. Uh, even with the considerable help from the Italians, it was still tough going. So this song was created. Luckily, Willie Marlene was heard on the radios throughout Europe and most of the world. And so that was a good tune to use. And so this is the D-Day Dodgers. And the soldiers wrote it. One soldier here, one there. It's compiled by Hamish Henderson. We are the D-Day Dodgers. We're out in Italy. Always on the vino, always on the spree. Eighth Army scroungers and their tanks. We live in Rome among the Yanks. We are the D-Day Dodgers in sunny Italy. We landed at Salerno. A holiday with pay. The Jerry's brought their bands out to cheer us some way. Showed us the sights and gave us tea. We all sang songs, the beer was free. To welcome D Day Dodgers to sunny Italy. Naples and Casino, we took them in our stride. Didn't go to fight there, we just went for the ride. Anzio and Sangro were just names. We only went to look for dames. Artful D-Day Dodgers in sunny Italy. Once we heard a rumor that we were going home, back to dear old Blighty, never more to roam. But somebody said in France, you'll fight. We said, no fears, we'll just sit tight. Contented D-Day Dodgers in sunny Italy. On the way to Florence, we had a good old time. Took the bus to Rimini right through the Gothic line. On to Bologna we will go, then bathing in the River Po. We're still the D-Day Dodgers in sunny Italy. We hope the second army will soon get home on leave. After six months fighting, it's time for their reprieve. No, we can carry on out here another two or three more years. We'll still be D Day Dodgers in sunny Italy. Dear Lady Astor, you think you know a lot. Standing on the platform and talking Tommy Rot. You, England's darling and her pride. We think your mouth's too bleeding wide. That's from your D-Day Dodgers in sunny Italy. Look around the mountains, 
in the mud and the rain you'll find the scattered crosses there's some that bear no name heartbreak and toil and suffering gone the boys beneath them linger on those are the D-Day Dodgers who'll stay in it.